A combination of simplicity and ruthlessness is what makes Super Naked motorcycles so tempting. They blend the lines of edgy and utilitarian, usually in the form of a bare bones open class super sport machine with a meaty power band and top tier electronics, but with a more comfortable riding position. And not to forget, Super Naked are just wickedly entertaining. So it's no surprise that Ducati stripped off most of the bodywork from this premium superbike offering, the Panigale V4, adjusted the ergonomics package and cut it loose as the 2020 Ducati Street Fighter V4 and V4S. At a staggering price of 20 lakh rupees X showroom, the V4 is definitely going to scare away the shallow pockets but the reason everyone is going to shell out their hard on rupees though is the engine. The Street Fighter's 1103cc V4 engine with an oddball firing rate and a backward rotating crankshaft is heavily inspired from the motorsport division of Ducati which just take part in the MotoGP. Peak power is set to be around 208 horsepower at 12,750 rpm and 90.4 foot-pound of torque at 11,500 rpm respectively. This clearly makes the Street Fighter the new king of the spec sheet power shootout. My favorite part about the bike is not the engine or the power figures, it's the sound it makes. The engine has been made in such a way by Ducati that even though it is a V4 but it is made to sound like a V-twin. And honestly, I feel that it is absolutely in line with that. The one thing that is there is that the moment you start the bike, it idles in a very funky way and honestly, I feel that it's a very nice sort of funky and you know for a fact the moment you pin the throttle the bike is going to scream on top of its lungs till 14,500 rpm. To make the whole idea of suspension adjustment easier to tackle, Ducati decided to design the adjustability around the parameters of riding. So in addition to the ability to adjust fixed suspension settings, the rider can change how much brake support is offered by the suspension, for example, choosing between performance and comfort. The same goes for the ABS which offers different levels, lower being performance and higher being safety. A high-end electronics package allows for plenty of adjustability. The electronics have a wide range of adjustment allowing the rider to tweak the engine, traction control and ABS character to their skill set. Advanced riders will especially appreciate the lofty performance barrier the electronics allow. When it comes to the looks, there is no straying away from the fact that this is the most pretty super naked out there. I haven't used words like possibly or maybe in the last statement because just look at it. It looks like a sentient being even when standing still. All of the curves, creases and lines have a meaning behind them in terms of the aero, yet the bike looks like it has been made for an art museum. The bike has a generous amount of carbon fibre scattered everywhere and in this matte black paint it looks absolutely sinister. Yes, maybe your KTM 1290 looks like an alien from outer space, but this looks like it has been crafted by the gods themselves. The Street Fighter V4 comes with Ducati's second generation of TFT screens. It is just like the one on the Panigale V4 and basically you can control the whole bike setting from the screen. It even has a lap timer and has Ducati's multimedia system which lets you connect your phone to the bike. Unfortunately, we weren't able to ride this beautiful machine today, but from the looks of it, it seems nothing short of a masterpiece. A big thank you to Legacy Motors Ducati Pune for letting us swim this amazing machine. If by any chance you are in Maharashtra and are looking to buy a Ducati, Legacy Motors Pune is the place to be as they have the latest and greatest from Ducati. Everything from your scramblers all the way up to the new multi starter V4 as well. Video on that coming very soon. McRae on the inside, going to take it. And Senna sprints away, Senna is 